Pasa to the pack, it is pack here. Am I really about to make a video of only three players and them being changed or updated in NBA 2K21? Yes. <laughs> I mean, sure, it may just be three players, but these are three legendary all-time players, so it is pretty important in my opinion. And I think you guys are going to like it too. It may be short, but hey, why not, right? But before this video starts, so be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. So I want to start with the first player. This one is really, really disappointing because, listen, I'm one for updating anybody to make them as realistic as you possibly can, even if they already looked pretty good. Like, I'm all about it, right? Like, I'm, I'll even talk about other players here in a second. But, oh my god, how did they get worse? How? They changed the head shape, they changed the beard, they changed the mouth, the, the nose just a little bit, and the eyes. And the skin tone. And then somehow it looks nothing like Brandon Roy. I am so impressed that they were able to go backwards on this player. It makes no sense, it is disappointing. Again, I'm always down when 2K is updating players, but somehow they made this worse. And this is one of the better Blazers players of all time. To straight up disrespect him like this, that's that's pretty bad, I gotta be honest. You know what, here's a picture of Brandon Roy. Here's a comparison of Brandon Roy last game. Looks pretty pretty close. Here's a comparison of the current game. Looks nothing like him. I'm, I have no clue how this happened. Somebody needs to get in trouble for this one. At number two, it is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. One of the greatest players of all time. Easily top three in my opinion. And he does get a slight update. First of all, obviously, Kareem was never like, I mean, he was bald, but he was never like straight up, no hair on his head bald. Very few people like that in NBA history. He was not one of those players. He just shaved his head and he did have a little bit of hair on the top of his head, which they, I'm happy that they updated. And they also, on top of that, added a little bit of more like coloration to his beard. Besides that though, not many changes with Kareem at all. Like really looking at it, there's nothing else. Oh, they also had like a little like white thing on his goggles, which I mean, I guess it's like a tape holding it together, which he did indeed have when he played. So on top of that, that's really it. That that's I mean, it looks a little more like Kareem, and I think none of us are gonna complain about that. That's great. And finally, the last player is a historic cover athlete for 2K, Allen Iverson. It's funny how every year they touch him up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and it always looks closer and closer and closer like Allen Iverson, but I still think they're just a little off, but this is a better version of Allen Iverson. I'm not even sure what they really changed. I guess how his hair is, they changed that. Okay, it looks a little more realistic. The head shape is updated just a little bit, and the beard's updated. Besides that though, what did they really change? Not much. I mean, I really can't tell you like what they really changed that really made this different, but it's it's enough to where I think it looks good. You also don't see his cornrows in the back of his hair anymore. You, it's just kind of like, it's more tucked in, I guess. But besides that, not a lot of changes to AI, but just enough to be mentioned in this video. And those are the three legends that were updated. Did I miss any? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. T. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.